when George asked me to do this, I was like, oh, I don't have anything to share. Especially after Susan. I mean, I look at Susan, you're my hero, Susan. She found through so much more. Uh, November 4th, 2008, I was taken to the emergency room by my husband because I was bleeding. I had had a hysterectomy six months before. They did a cast and you have a growth on your kidney, we want to get it checked out. December 15, 2008, I had my left kidney removed. Stage one, grade four, which stage one is the size, it was my whole upper lobe. Grade four is the aggressiveness, which a four is as high aggressive as you can get. Doctor came into my room the next morning and goes, I don't know what to tell you. Usually I tell patients like you six months to a year. I don't know what to tell you. You are unusual. I've heard that from lots of doctors in the last five years. Um, he goes, I don't know. So yes, November 4th this year will be six years. <laughs> I still have some tumors. They are small, smaller than a, a marble. The mar a marble size is my biggest one. But I got praying about this, and I thought, okay, what does he want me to share? And I got to things I've learned by having cancer. This has changed my whole family. I have four boys. Pictures from the beginning with me. Yes, that was me playing in the rain. Um, and it, he told me things I've learned by having this. Don't worry about the small stuff. It's all small stuff. <laughs> Cancer changes the way you look at things. It's like, I don't worry about, I used to be a major warrior. Huge, asked my husband. Embrace today, tomorrow isn't promised. Every day is a blessing. I don't put things off anymore Amen. that I can do today. Two years ago, we took our kids to Disneyland. They were wanting to do it forever. They were all older. I think the youngest was 16 at the time. <laughs> we had the best time ever. Also, it was the first time we'd ever taken a vacation with just the six of us. Not to visit family, just the six of us. We had a blast. Don't ever tell me you hate birthdays. Celebrate your birthdays. Each year is a blessing from God. Yeah. Every year. When I get 50, it will be my 10-year cancer birthday and my 50th birthday. I am having a party. Yeah. Woo! I'm so glad that they dance in the rain. Be a kid. Maturity is overrated. My kids know I drag them out when it rains. We haven't had a whole lot this summer. I'm waiting for it. But, you know, just laugh. Laugh a lot. Our, our family motto, cancer sucks. <laughs> My kids all have bracelets that says it on it. It does. It sucks. But, you know, it's what we've been handed. Deal with it. <laughs> Daily tell those in your life you love them. You find your true allies and friends when you're sick. There's some people that won't stick around. They can't handle you being sick. But you find your true friends. And this was a big one for me. It's okay to say no. I always, if I could do it, I'll say yes. I found out, it'll get done. It doesn't have to be me. I can say no. It's okay. Another big one. When I was diagnosed, I had to be strong for everybody. It's okay to show weakness. It's okay not to be strong all the time. 2012, I started into a deep, dark place. And luckily, my husband saw it. He took me to the doctor. I was diagnosed with depression. This was after... Wanda had passed away that year, and we had two other friends within a month of each other all died of cancer. I think I went through survivor's guilt. Why them? Why did they go? Why am I still here? I got on antidepressants. I'm so much better. Thank you for my loving husband, <laughs> who, who knew that, you know, I was struggling. God's promises never return void. He always keeps them. Amen. I will be healed, if not here on earth then I will be in heaven. Amen. Amen. And I struggled with that. Oh, if you don't have the faith, you, 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 know, you just have to ask. If you ask, the mountain will be moved. And I kept, okay, Lord, I'm praying, I'm praying. Why am I not being healed? And it was in an Esther Bible study that lovely Georgia hosted that we were studying. And I realized it was like a light bulb. Abraham never received his promise on earth while he was on earth. He was promised children like the stars. He saw that in heaven. So I am very peaceful about, I, I, I'll be healed. Amen. God's already, he's working on it. Um, I am excited. I, like I said, I, I consider myself a warrior, not a survivor, because I'm still fighting this. End of October, I will be starting a clinical trial. And in this trial, 
this medication they're going to put me on targets the cancer cells. It, it will go after just those cells. It doesn't go after the good cells. Side effects should be less. And we, Garrett and I prayed about this, and I'm, you know, should I be doing this? And Garrett said, you've got a legacy. Through going through this clinical trial, you can help other people. So I just, it's been a long six years, but would I change things? No. It's changed my family for the better. It's changed Garrett and I, our relationship. That man has been in every appointment with me. I tell him, it's okay, it's just blood work this time. You don't need to go. No, I need to be there. He's been there. He's my wife. He looks at me and tells me, you're so strong, you feel this. I'm like, no, I'm not. You're, you're my rock. Um, and I wanted to share our family verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. This, last night you went over this, and I just thought, yeah, and, okay, God, it's from you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to give you a hope and a future. He has hope. We have a future. You know. I don't know why I went through this. I have no family history of cancer. None. The doctor said, it's an old man disease usually. Men in their 60s, lifetime smokers. My parents never smoked. I never smoked. Why? I don't know. I went through that at the beginning. Why me, Lord? Why me? One day, I audibly heard him say, why not? <laughs> okay, God. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> So it's just, you know, that's what it is. So I just want to share those things that I've learned through this. Um, it's a new normal, is what I tell people when I hear that they've been diagnosed. You know, you'll have a new normal, because the normal never returns. <laughs> so I hope that helped everybody. I, just what God gave me when Georgia asked me, 